Hi, I'm happy to announce that device metrics has been updated to version 1.1. Several useful functions have been added at your request. This update is free for all owners of device metrics. To download the updated version of the plugin, please open the email that you received when you purchased the first version, or download the update on the product page by entering your email address. Let's take a quick look at each improvement. The number of tracks and devices you can control has been increased. In fact, the number of tracks has been increased to 50 and the number of devices to 500. The ability to open device metrics using the keyboard was added. To do this, please press key and select a button on the keyboard. In this case, I will choose Q. Now, wherever in the program you happen to be, you can easily open the device metrics by pressing the previously selected key. The Select checkbox appears in the main menu of the plugin. If the checkbox is active, every time you click on the table, the relevant tracks is automatically selected in Ableton Live. Now you can change the dry, wet or mix parameter not only for native Ableton Live devices, but also for VST plugins. As an example, for now I will change the mix parameter for some popular plugins. In some cases, for example for FAB filter plugins, in order for the mix parameter to appear in the device metrics, you have to add it first using the configure button in Ableton Live. Some people have asked me why the limit on the number of tracks in the matrix is not disabled. This is because adding tracks can decrease the performance of the plugin. I think that in future I'll be able to solve this issue by rewriting some of the functions. But for now my advice is to keep project as focused and minimalistic as possible. I hope this update will make the device metrics an even more useful tool for mixing, sound design or music production. This project, as with my others, will continue to evolve, so please stay tuned. Good luck to everyone, bye for now.